Hey guys! This is the first time that I'm filming a video with my glasses on. That's so cool! And because I'm wearing glasses, my light decides to change the whole time. I'm just seeing that on my little screen right there next to my camera. Yay! Anyways, today I have another tasting American candy for you guys. Yeah, you figured that out already from the title, but you know, it's fun to say it again. Yeah. Something. I saw that so many people started watching and liking the first Tasting American Candy video. So I decided why not do that again because you guys seem to like it a lot. I like tasting foreign things so much and I like experimenting and just trying out new things. So I thought this would be a very good idea, right? I enjoyed it. You guys seem to enjoy it, so why not? I don't have that much like the last time, but I did go to a candy store here in the Netherlands where they sell American candy and I picked a few things out. So yeah, I'm just going to grab out of that bag and taste it in no particular order. Let's start. The first thing that I have here are hot ta tamales, tamales. Tam uh, something, something. It's this one and is the tropical heat one. I went to the candy store together with my niece and my little brother, and I told them that they could pick out a few as well, because obviously I would only pick out the ones that sounded very nice, and they just picked out the ones that they thought would be funny to try. And my little brother picked out. A hot candy candy that's spicy I think I don't know let's try it oh it says get fired up that's nice I can't do spices I I can't do that I don't like spiced food and stuff so this is going to be a lot of fun okay here is one I have the orange one going to try it now which one is this this is mango tango I love mango I started to eat these and I was like, oh, this is so nice. This is very fruity. Nothing spicy about this. But when you come to the center, it's like so hot. Oh my god. Whoa, I did not expect that. The outside is very fruity and very nice. And then you come to the inside and it starts getting spicy. And then all of a sudden it disappears again. This is so nice. I do really enjoy this. Wait. There was another one, there was a green one which was lime and I love lime. Let's try that one. So nice. I give this one a 4 out of 5. Now we have the original lemon head. I did pick this one out because I love lemon and lime. I really love sour things. And it just looked so very cute. Look at this guy on here. <laughs> Look at that. It's so cute. Oh my god. And I just thought it would be very nice to try it. Lemon candy. Natural and artificial flavors. Okay, let's try it. Made with real lemon juice, it says. Okay, so these are like little yellow dots. It's hard candy. I love hard candy. Oh my god, these ones taste exactly like Napoleon. I don't know if you have that candy where you live, but we have like little balls. It's a little bit bigger than this, but it tastes the same and I love those. So I love these. Oh my god, lemon head. So nice. It's so tasty. You, know, you get like a big box of it. I give this one a 5 out of 5. Yes. Okay, this one is the one that I picked out as well. Because in the last video I tried out a lot of sweets. I wanted to pick out a, a few chocolates as well. And then I saw this chocolate and it said Big Hunk. And I just really, really love that name. It was just the best thing ever. So I immediately grabbed it. I don't know what it is, but here it says chewy honey sweetened noga with whole roasted peanuts. Let's try it, shall we? I love noga a lot, so I hope this tastes amazing. It smells amazing. Oh my god. Oh, it smells like noga and I love it. It's white and you have like little roasted peanuts in there. Oh, ah, it's very hard and very sticky. Oh my god. 
Whoa! <laughs> my my glasses almost fell from my nose. Whoa! I really love the taste. It's so nice because it's so sticky and so hard. It makes it very hard to chew. So I give this one. A four out of five. Now we have Hershey's cookies and cream drops. This one. The last time I picked this one out as well. And the last time I tried the chocolate bar of this, I didn't really like it that much because I was getting very nauseous. But then I saw these and it said drop. So it is like, wait, let me show you. So there are just little rounds, like little bites. And you can eat as many as you want. If you just want one, you just eat one. If you want the whole bag, you just eat the whole bag. But because I was getting very nauseous, eating a lot from the chocolate bar. But it was very tasty, but I was getting very nauseous after a while. So I thought this would be the best solution. Just little bites. And if I was getting nauseous, I could just stop and save it. And again, it's it tastes like stracciatella. I don't know if you have that where you live. And I don't really know how to explain the taste. But it's very creamy and then there's like chocolate bits through it and i like these i will give these a three out of five okay the next one box of boogers this is the one my little brother picked out for me because he thought it would be very funny but th those are tangy chummy or gummy what does it say tangy gummy boogies that feel and look real so i am kind of terrified because if they feel and look real, then it might taste like boogers as well. I've never eaten boogers, so I don't know what boogers taste like. But I can't imagine it tastes very nice. Okay, so it's like this very gooey bit. Okay, I'm just going to grab the light greenish one. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. It tastes like watermelon. And I love watermelon. So cool. It may not look that appetizing. Because they made it look like real boogers but it's kind of very tasty i don't really like chewy candy but the taste is good it actually tastes like watermelon i love it the taste is very nice but i just don't really like the structure of it and the texture because i don't really like chewy candy so i give this one a three out of five okay and now we have the butterfinger i've heard so much about the Butterfinger and when I saw they sold Butterfingers I immediately grabbed it because I really wanted to know what it was and why everyone loved it so much it says here Butterfinger crispity crunchity peanut buttery there's peanut butter in it right Americans love peanut butter that's why they love Butterfingers and that's why they love Reese's a lot now I understand but now I want to taste it for myself. Okay, let's go. Oh, oosh. It's basically dried peanut butter with a crunch layer over that and then a chocolate layer over it. It's very nice, I love it. I now understand why people love Butterfinger a lot. This is so nice. I give the Butterfinger a five out of five. Okay, now I have the Rocky Road. Why I picked this one out was it said s'mores and I tried the Graham goldfish something. I don't even remember how that was called, but it was like little goldfish and it was in the flavor s'mores. And I really liked that one. And this one was combined with a lot of chocolate. So I thought, why not? Let's try it. It doesn't really look that appetizing. But I hope it tastes very nice. It does smell very nice though. Okay, I don't like this one. And the only reason because I don't like this one is because there is a lot of uh, marshmallow in it. And I do not like marshmallow at all. The Graham goldfish s'more things that I ate didn't contain marshmallows. So I think that's why I like that one more than this one. Marshmallows are really not my thing. So this one gets a zero out of five. Oh my god, and this is the last one. This is the Charleston Chew. It says try frozen. Oh, oops. Well, maybe next time if I like it unfrozen as well. What was that? That just scared the shit out of me. 
what is happening? My light is freaking out. Is it going to do it again? Yes, it is. Okay, it should be good now, my light. Let's try the, what was it again? Charleston Chew. Does it contain marshmallow again? It looks like it contains marshmallow or noga or something like that. Okay, wait. Let's try it. There's like this white vanilla chewy thing in the middle and it's covered in chocolate. It does not taste like marshmallow the inside, but like I said, I don't really like those chewy things. So the taste is good, but because it's chewy, I give this one a 3 out of 5. So you can see it wasn't a lot of candy that I bought this time, but I really enjoyed trying all of these. And I tried more uh, chocolate bars instead of, of sweets this time, because I really wanted to taste uh, American chocolate as well because I didn't do that last year, last year, last year, last time. And I've got to say overall, they are all kind of tasty except the Rocky Road because I really do not like marshmallows. But I do have to say that the lemon head is now my favorite thing ever. It used to be runs, but now it is really lemon head because I really love lemon and lime, really love those sour uh, fruits and it's hard candy, not chewy candy, that's a plus as well and I just love it. I'm pretty sure this will be gone by the time I'm going to bed. Yes, this was Tasting American Candy Part 2 and if you want to see a part 3, comment down below what kind of candy you guys think I should try and what I would like and what I would not like at all. I would love to know that. I hope you guys liked watching this video and I will see you guys in another video of mine. Goodbye! There's a part of you you can't get back, a little girl up too fast, all it took was once.